G'day and welcome back to Powertech TV. It's been a little while, hasn't it? We've been busy, we've been tuning cars. We've been uh, doing a lot of work during this COVID period because everyone wants to go faster and we're here to help. Today's beast, beautiful thing, ML63, late teens model with the 5.5 twin turbo V8. One of my favorite engines, superseded now, However, I don't know why, because it was just a brilliant thing. It's got big cubes, it's got reasonable sized turbos, and we've already run it up standard, and it makes at all four wheels, because we tune properly on a dyno, not a car park tune, or out on a paddock somewhere. We tune these things properly, we've run it up standard, it makes 200, Gareth, what did it make? 270, 264 all wheel kilowatts. Not bad, considering you're driving to a big drivetrain. Now, we're gonna use our 30 years of Mercedes tuning experience here to give it a nice conservative tune, something that sounds good, goes good without putting any excess stress on any components, so the owner has a nice and reliable time of it. So, we'll plug into it, we'll read the standard file, we'll modify a file, something we do here in-house, so I can do specific changes, or we can do specific changes to the software, flash it in, do a few iterations, test it, and see what kind of results we get. So let's have a look at the dyno. Big throaty sounding thing, isn't it? I love the noise these 5.5s make. They sound as good as they end up going. And I said we were gonna be conservative with it. The fact of the matter is, these cars are so, or these, this engine management system is so sort of pulled back from the factory that there is a lot of scope. We took the boost from a standard seven and a half to eight PSI up to about 14 or just under. So one bar in the new money, 14 pounds in the old money. Um, have a look at the gains though. 5,000 RPM, we had 264 kilowatts at all four wheels. We now have well over 100 more at 373 or 500 horsepower in the old money at all four. That is a massive gain and all done very, very safely. This thing will be a jet, but it's not all about the power numbers, is it? What about the torque? Well, let's go back here to where it peaks. Now we're making standard, it had 770 at all four. Now it's got 1167. People are gonna say, hang on, they don't make 70, 770 newton meter stock. Your dyno must be bullshit. No, no, the dyno is correct. Gareth, what gear do you run this in? He runs it in fourth gear. So the engine torque is multiplied by the gearbox ratio and the diff ratios and the size of the wheels, etc. It's a mathematical calculation, but that's what you're actually hitting the road with. 770 newton meters in fourth gear at 3500 RPM. But not anymore, you're hitting it with 1167 newton meters. Um, actual gains, it's called bloody big, right? Bigger the better when it comes to torque gains. Again, we can monitor this, we can log the car, we can see exactly what every single parameter is doing. That's why it's so important you use a dyno, and that's why it's so important you do it properly and not get honey fluffed into thinking that a car park tune is the right thing to do. So I'm glad you enjoyed this segment. We're gonna do a few more of these. We've got Prince Harry now here uh, filming. He's a good guy, he's looking for a job at the moment because you know it didn't work out too well at Buckingham Palace. Um, stop laughing, well, they'll be able to hear that. Um, yeah, we're gonna do a lot more of these upcoming, so I hope you like them. Send us some feedback, and thanks once more for watching Powertech TV.